so before I start putting glue in the holes and gluing stuff up, I'm going to iron the, the spindle deck because what's happened is uh, uh, through the process of all the dry runs, <clears throat> I'm bound to put some dents in the top of the spindle deck even if I don't uh, see them. They're bound to be there. Uh, so if I iron it with a, with a damp rag right here, then it'll pull them all out because the milk paint will just show them. It'll show them right up. It doesn't, milk paint will show up anything. So, or paint will show up anything. Uh, so, what I do is take this, take this rag right here, right like that. Well, that's not wet enough. Yeah, hard to get those things wet. Okay. Now, another thing that you'll see is we've had those spindles in and out of those holes a little bit. And uh, while they're not loose by any stretch, it's because the pine is so soft, it's opened up those holes just a hair. And you'll find that it's going to be harder for me to get those spindles back in those holes now. I mean, it's going to be a nice tight joint, but uh, that steam's just pulled them in. Well, we're going to start putting the glue in here. So I've got uh, my high glue going back here and whoo, don't touch that. Uh, I showed you the way that I mixed it up in one of the prior videos, so we won't won't go over that. Uh, but it's uh, it's hot hide glue and it's got uh, about probably about 15% urea in it, which is going to slow it down enough for me to get this this thing together. I hope. Um, so I'll start out putting the uh, the arm supports in. I'll take this little cloth and put it down here over the stretcher to keep the glue from dripping uh, dripping down on it. I've got my wedges ready right here next to me, and uh, I believe I believe I'm ready to go. So. Uh, so the glue's in the jar, and the water can stay hot, so I can pull it out without pulling the whole thing over here and hitting the cord and knocking it into the, into the floor. I twist it into position. Okay. And uh, a little water over here. I can just kind of lean the chair back against me and uh, use both hands here. Put glue on one side of the wedge and I explained why in a prior video about the expansion joint. Much of a mess there. Good. <clears throat> and as I said before, I'd watch out washing the hide glue off if I wasn't going to paint the chair because uh, you could create a mess there. But uh, painting it is uh, usually not a not a problem. Um, so, let me get my these 
these right here, and this really helps my helps my elbow. It takes a little a little longer to put them in, but uh, see how tight they are now. The way that the the hole has swollen just a tad bit. So, but what I can do is I can lock this thing down right like that. And with the spindles, I only put glue in the mortise just to keep from making such a mess. And the spindle's not going anywhere. Anyway, it's not a very good glue joint. The spindle has been super dried. It's going to swell inside the hole. So I just put glue in the mortise. Don't worry about it. See that even slipped with that. It would tear my hands, tear my hands to pieces to do it. <clears throat> tear my elbows up. Now that twisting action is something that really hurts them. Probably the reason I have a problem in the first place. Tighter. Okay, got the spindles in. Now I'll put the uh, arm rail on. I'll put the chair down on the floor there and uh, do that. And while I do that, I'll put the glue back over here to get the water hot.